What is going on everybody and welcome back. Welcome to another video where we're going to be ripping open one of these Walmart or Target I believe. What the hell happened there? Anyways, besides that, this is I believe a Target mystery box. I know they do sell these at Walmart in Canada, these same products. I've known people who have grabbed these. I've seen people ripping them before. But until my good, good friend, Julie Farnham, who also has an amazing YouTube channel, I will put a link in the channel description or a link in the title description. If you click on that, it'll take you to Julie's channel where she's always doing great giveaways. Um, but as I was saying, this was gifted to me by Julie Farnham in the recent package I had got from her. So we're going to rip into here. We see on the front, I think they put the premium pack on the front. So that is last year's Opeachy Platinum. So lots of good stuff to look for in there. Opeachy Platinum is kind of like the crown jewel of hockey card collecting. The affordable ones at least. Obviously there's the cup and black diamond and stuff like that. But I love the Opeachy Platinum. It's kind of our equivalent of the Topps Chrome. So look at this. These are stacked. There's tons of stuff in here. Completely packed with packs. Packed with packs. Uh, so we have on the top. We have our 2022-2023 Opeachy Platinum, that's going to be nice. We have a Kalen Addison rookie, so there I was talking about Julie Farnham. And then look what we got. We got a Minnesota Wild card. The Minnesota Wild have had a great start to their season. It's been kind of, I'm kind of surprised how some teams have started off. The Predators look terrible, which nobody really expected. Um, the Calgary Flames look amazing. I don't know if that's going to be sustainable for them. They're kind of just surprising people. Nobody's really expected that out of Calgary this year. And a lot of teams are going in and getting their asses kicked because they're not expecting to be Calgary as good as they are. Winnipeg is still undefeated. Winnipeg is 7-0. and They just won last night in overtime against the Kraken. Um, Calgary and Winnipeg play each other on Saturday night. So it should be good. should be exciting. So we got lots of nice packs in here. We got 2021-2022. Series one, so correct me if I'm wrong, but that is that's Caulfield. That's Caulfield rookie year right there. I still actually do not have a full Caulfield Young Guns. This is 2021-2022 Series 2, so that is going to be Cider, um, Raymond, and Byfield, which would be nice to get any one of those guys. I do have Byfield, obviously, and then we have here a fat pack of extended series from that year. So lots of 2021-2022. We will start with the MVP. We'll start with the lower end stuff here. We'll see what we can get. I also haven't had a chance to open up any of this year's MVP. So maybe I'll grab a box of that pretty soon. Uh, we have ice battles. The ice battles are gone, so that wasn't much. It was, um, I guess our best card in there is going to be the ice battles of Jack LaFontaine. So nothing really much in the MVP. So we'll start with this extended pack here. All right, I think Seth Jarvis is the big rookie you're looking for out of this year's extended. But we shall see. It's nice. It usually don't even get an insert. So it'll be nice if we can get something. One insert out of these. Um, the crack in the inaugural game, those are pretty cool. All right, what do we got? We got a Moritz Sider. We got a rookie gems of Moritz Sider, so that's a good one right there. He is probably top five defenseman in the whole league right now. He's a little bit more of an old school defenseman. I know you got a lot of these young guys with Hughes and Makar that are kind of like the riverboat gamblers, more like a Drew Doughty kind of player. But Moritz Sider, he's good. He's very physical. He's very tough. He's very good defensively. Blocks a ton of shots. The Red Wings are looking pretty good. Alex Lyon, um, he's never had the best career so far. But this year, he looks great. He looks absolutely rock solid. So, been a good start for the year for the Red Wings. They have those three teams. They call the Viagra Triangle, which is the Senators, Sabres, and Red Wings. Every year, people think they're all going to make that next step and make it to the playoffs. But it just hasn't happened. It just hasn't happened yet. I think the Buffalo Sabres are going to make the playoffs this year. I'm not too sure about the Senators or about the Red Wings, but I have a feeling the Sabres. Like, the Sabres have missed the playoffs for 14 years. They got they got to get in. They got to get in sooner or later. So we have an insert coming up here. I'm not too sure what that is. 
It is. Look at that. There we go. Another one for Julie Farnham. We got a UD canvas of Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov has had a great start to the season. No surprise there for anybody. Kaprizov is one of the best elite goal scorers in the whole league. But yeah, I'm very excited for the Wild. They look like they are the real deal right now. Um, and then next year, the next, the big thing is with the Wild, they have been stuck in salary cap hell for the longest time, ever since Ryan Suter and Zach Parise were bought out by the team. Bill Guerin took a pretty risky move a couple of years ago, buying these two guys out. Obviously huge contracts for both of them. But it's going to be good. Next year when they have all that salary cap freed up and they're already rolling and looking as good as they do right now, I think the Wild are going to be an absolute deadly team in the next couple of years. I would not be surprised to see them holding up their first Stanley Cup in the next two or three years. We have lots of stuff in here. We'll skip the base again probably. We've got Chris Tanev, who's now with the Maple Leafs. He has been playing rock solid with the Maple Leafs. Of course, nobody's really surprised by that. Tanev has been one of the best defensive defensemen in the NHL for a long time. The Tanev brothers are absolute Vikings. Love those guys. So I have a marquee rookie in the back there. I skipped over that one. Jeffrey Vile. Jeffrey Vile. I'm not too uh, familiar with him. The Sharky boys. I, I don't know. I like the San Jose Sharks. They got a good, exciting young team. They got Will Smith. They got Macklin Celebrini, but they still haven't won a game. It's still the same old Sharks. They're, what, 0-7 or something? They played seven games. They haven't won yet, so I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So what do we got? Do we have a young gun? No freaking way. Oh, yes. That is so awesome. I'm, I'm so happy with this. I think, actually, correct me if I'm wrong, I just saw a video the other day, the, 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 rewind, I just saw a video the other day, but the price on this is going up substantially recently. I don't know what it's worth right now, but that is my first ever Cole Caulfield Young Guns. So, shout out to Frank from Frank's Cards and Collectibles. Uh, who else is Montreal Canadiens fan? I don't know. I don't know. Any other Montreal Canadiens fans? I, I'm sorry I'm forgetting, but uh, shout out to all the Habs fans. That is so nice. I called it. I called it. We got our Cole Caulfield Young Guns. We got a Steven Stamkos Red Dazzlers, which I'm very happy to get. I do love me some Red Dazzlers. And then we got two packs left here. We got one more pack of the Series 1. And then we will be on to the Opeachy Platinum. And then... We're going to get going with our Allen and Ginter hunt, which we have done so many times. And just a heads up, there's an amazing day coming up for the card community. If you guys have been around for a while, you may have heard us talking about it. You may have seen some videos about it. But on March 1st every year for the last three years, myself and Julie Farnham have hosted an amazing community day where we do the Allen and Ginter spinach hunt day, where everybody gets in on opening a whole bunch of Allen and Ginter. There's tons of amazing prizes to be given away, all sorts of fun. It's great. So March 1st, stay tuned for details. Uh, there should be playlists in my um, playlists on my channel or other people's channels if you want to go back and watch some of the previous years. It's amazing. It's really cool to see the creative and fun videos people come up with for March 1st every year. So I'm super excited for that. I'm going to have to buy something pretty soon to give away for a nice prize. All right, so first card, we got nice insert of Dylan Holloway, a marquee rookie of Dylan Holloway. Who these two guys, the two um, offer sheet guys that left Edmonton, have been lights out so far in St. Louis. Broberg has been unreal so far, and Dylan Holloway has also looked very good. We have a Mark Stone uh, yellow surge. So shout out to my homie from Texas. He's a big Vegas Golden Knight fan. Nick from Old Man Game, shout out to you, buddy. I know you're a big Vegas fan, so there's a shout out for my buddy Nick. Again, if you want to check out an amazing YouTube channel, head on over to Old Man Game and check him out. He's giving away stuff in almost every video now. Great guy, rips a lot of weird products and a lot of stuff you're never going to see before. Um, so let's go. 
Let's see what we can get in the old school 2020. We've already pulled our Bo Bichette rookie out of this. So we'll see what we can get. We got a Duke Snyder. We have a Ford. We have a Giancarlo Stanton who's actually playing in the World Series right now. The Yankees versus the Dodgers. We have a Jenkins. We have a Garnet, one of these mineral cards. Digging deep. Yep. All right. And then we have Braun. So nothing spectacular out of that pack. But, oh, yeah, I am very happy we finally pulled our Cole Caulfield Young Gun. I have opened a ton of that stuff, and I never pulled a Caulfield. Strange. The year before that, I think I pulled three regular Laffy Young Guns and three of the Laffy Retro Young Guns. But I had no luck with this guy until today. So, thank you. Big thank you to Julie Farnham for this box. As I said previously, link in the title description. Click on the Julie Farnham thing. It'll take you to Julie Farnham's channel. If you're watching my videos and you've never heard of Julie Farnham's videos, I'm going to find that very hard to believe because she is an absolute titan in the card community. She is an epic person, epic giveaways, the queen of the land krakens, the card community angel. She has many names. She wears many hats, but she truly is one of the kindest and most generous people I've ever met in my entire life. I've never actually met Julie. One day I would hope to get to meet Julie. Um, I've met a couple people in the card community, but one day, fingers crossed, I get the pleasure of meeting up with Julie Farnham. So again, thanks everybody for checking out this video today. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the polls.